Why are elites so good? I get new athletes asking me this all the time. How come the elites are just so far ahead of them when it comes to performance? Well, this comes down to what I call layering. They have years and years and probably decades of training behind them. And every single year has been layered on top of the next. Take a quick look at this graphic and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so this is the training and recovery cycles for athlete graphic that we've put together to try and explain this to people. So effectively what we're showing here, they're trying to think about this uh, red line as your fitness. So what we've got, these first two kind of little bumps here, if you like, uh, this dotted line is your fitness. It's your start of your fitness level, okay? So you come in at your base fitness level and then what happens is first two bumps are demonstrating that when you train, you kind of get a little bit less fit. You cause yourself a little bit of damage um, because that's how you get stronger. You damage and your muscles repair and then you actually kind of push on to higher levels from there. So a little bit of damage, a bit of recovery, a bit of damage, a bit of recovery. And as you can see, the fitness actually isn't going anywhere. The top of these peaks is staying pretty level. Now that means either you're not getting enough recovery or there's not enough training load there. What should happen if we carry on along here is that every time you train, you actually come back a little bit stronger each time. So you end up with this fitness level tracking up. On the, on the flip side, if you don't get enough recovery, what happens is you don't actually rise back up as high as you were before. So overtraining, uh, not getting enough recovery, or actually not enough training stimulus will actually make that fitness cause to track down. Let me just play this th through a little bit more. So as the weeks, you can see the weeks along the bottom here, as the weeks progress, it goes on and on and on and on, then across into months. And then effectively what we're showing here is we're, sh we're seeing a rise. So each one of these bumps um, is effectively kind of training sessions and training days. And then every once a month there's a recovery week and then you kind of your fitness kind of drops down a little bit. Um, I'm oversimplifying here, but just trying to illustrate what's going on. Um, and then the next month you climb and it drops and it climbs and it drops and it continues on like that all the way through the season. So here we go, six months seven months and then eight months and it carries on and on and on and uh, just as we get to the end here month 10 and then what the last month does is has a big old drop up and that is trying to signify a recovery month okay so at the end of the season uh, at the end of the training year you're ending up quite a lot higher than you were right at the beginning obviously because you've been training consistently um, it probably wouldn't happen like this because you wouldn't train consistently for this amount of time but again just for illustration purposes and again it is oversimplified but just trying to make the point here so effectively, uh, what we're going to do here is you are going to start, so that's the end of first year, you're then going to start year two at a higher level than you were at the start of year one, and you're going to go through the whole thing again, and it goes up, and it goes up, and there's year two, year three, so this is what we call layering, so every single year it gets higher than the year before, and then this is why professionals and elites are so much higher in terms of their performance and their ability, because they have years and years and decades of training behind them and this is why they're at sort of almost incomprehensible levels so hopefully that will make you understand what's going on in the training cycles if you don't recover enough your fitness can go down or can plateau if you've got enough the right the right kind of training load it can uh, it can do the same kind of thing it can either plateau or it can drop off what you want to do is get the training road light training load right and get the recovery amount right. And what you will see if you're consistent and you're patient is this kind of thing here. So it shows how athletes have layered year upon year to reach these almost incomprehensible levels. So what does it take you to get there? Time, hard work and patience, and you'll do it. Thank you.